In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the x and y intercepts from a graph and also from an equation, and also how to graph a linear equation in standard form by using the x and y intercepts. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's start with a graph. So based on this graph, what are the x and y intercepts? The x intercept is basically the x value where the graph touches the x axis. And it touches it at an x value of 4. So that is the x intercept. You can write it as x equals 4, or you can write it as an ordered pair, 4 comma 0. Now what is the y intercept in this particular graph? All you need to do is locate the y value at which the graph touches the y axis. And that y value is negative 3. So I'm going to write it as 0, negative 3 as an ordered pair. Or you could say y is equal to negative 3. So that's how you can identify the x and y intercepts from a graph. Now let's look at another example. So I'm going to draw another graph. And from it, Determine the x and the y intercepts. Let's do that again. So let's start with the x intercept. What is the x intercept in this problem? So notice that we have an x value of 3. That's where the curve intercepts the x axis. So we have the point 3 comma 0. That's the x intercept. The y intercept occurs at a y value of 2. That's where the curve touches the y axis. And so that point is 0 comma 2. x is 0, but y is 2 at that point. So now you know how to find the x and y intercepts from a graph. That's all you need to do. Let's say if you're given a linear equation, y equals 2x plus 1. Find the x and y intercepts, and then graph the function. Now, this linear equation is in slope-intercept form. That is, it's in y equals mx plus b form. m is the slope. The slope is the number in front of x. So the slope in this problem is 2. The y-intercept is b. So we don't have to do anything to solve for the y-intercept. So therefore, we have the point 0, comma 1. That's the y-intercept. What we need to do is find the x-intercept. In order to find the x-intercept, replace y with 0 and find the value of x. To find the y-intercept, you can plug in 0 into x. So for example, if you replace x with 0, you're going to get y equals 1, which is always going to be whatever this number is, if it's in slope-intercept form. But now let's go ahead and calculate the x-intercept. So let's subtract both sides by 1. Negative 1 is equal to 2x, and then let's divide by 2. So the x-intercept is negative 1 half. So as a point, it's negative 1 over 2 comma 0. Now that we have the x and the y-intercept, we can go ahead and make a graph. So the y-intercept is at 0, 1, and the x-intercept is at negative 1 half comma 0, which is about there approximately. And now we just got to make a line that connects the two points. And that's how you can graph a linear equation given the x and the y-intercepts. Let's try another example. Go ahead and graph the equation 1 half x minus 3 by finding the x and the y-intercepts. So automatically, we can see the y-intercept. It's negative 3. So we got the point 0, negative 3. Let's find the x-intercept. So let's replace y with 0, and let's calculate the value of x. So let's begin by adding 3 to both sides. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 
So 3 is equal to 1 half x. To get rid of the fraction, let's multiply both sides by 2. 1 half times 2 is a whole. So on the right side, all we have left over is x. 2 times 3 is 6. So therefore, the x-intercept is 6, 0. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and make the graph. So let's plot the x-intercept first. So it's located at an x value of 6, but a y value of 0. And now let's plot the y-intercept, which is at 0, negative 3. And then simply connect the two points with a straight line. And that's how you do it. Now sometimes you might be given a linear equation in standard form. That is in ax plus by equals c form. Go ahead and find the x and the y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, what you need to do is replace y with 0. Now 3 times 0 is 0, and 0 basically is nothing, so this portion simply disappears. So therefore, 2x is equal to 6. Next, we need to divide both sides by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and therefore this is the x-intercept. So we have the ordered pair 3 comma 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. So this time, we're going to replace x with 0. So 2 times 0 is nothing. So what we have left over is negative 3y is equal to 6. So now let's divide both sides by negative 3. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So that's the y-intercept. So now we have the point 0, negative 2. Now we can make the graph. So let's start with the x-intercept, which is at an x value of 3 on the x-axis, and then the y-intercept, which is at negative 2 on the y-axis. And that's all you need to do to graph uh, that particular equation. Let's work on one more example for the sake of practice. Go ahead and graph this equation. So let's find the x-intercept first. So we're going to replace y with 0. So we're going to have 3x is equal to 12, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the x-intercept is 4, 0. Next, let's replace x with 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 4y is still 4y. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the y-intercept is 0, 3. Now let's graph it. So the first point is at an x value of 4. And then the second point is at a y value of 3. And then simply connect the two points. And that's it. So now you know how to graph linear equations in standard form, and even in slope and intercept form. There's many different methods that you can use, but as you can see, one method is simply of finding the x and y intercepts. But there's other methods out there, so you can check out the rest of the playlist and find other videos on YouTube that I have on graphic linear equations if you want to know more. Now, I want to show you one of my algebra courses that might be useful to you if you ever need it. So go to udemy.com. Now, in the search box, just type in algebra, and it should come up. So it's the one with the image with the black background. So 
So if you select that option, and if you decide to go to course content, you can see what's in uh, this particular course. So the first section, basic arithmetic, for those of you who want to focus on addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it has a, a video quiz at the end. It's a multiple choice video quiz. You can pause it, work on the problems, and see the solutions. It covers long division, multiplying two large numbers, and things like that. The next tutorial is on fractions. Add in, subtract in fractions, multiply and divide in fractions, convert in fractions into decimals, and so forth. So you can also take a look at that. Next, solve the linear equations, which we covered. And just more examples if you need more help with that. The next topic, order of operations, which is also useful. Uh, graph in linear equations. You need to know how to calculate the slope. You need to be familiar with the slope intercept form, standard form, and just how to tell if lines are parallel, perpendicular, and so forth. And there's a quiz that uh, goes with that as well. The next topic is on inequalities and absolute value expressions, which are also seen in a typical algebra course. And then we have polynomials, and that's a, a long section. And then factoring, you just that's another topic you need to master. And then system of equations. You can solve it by elimination, substitution. There's also word problems as well. Sometimes you got to solve equations with three variables, x, y, and z. So that could be helpful. Next, quadratic equations, how to use the quadratic formula, how to graph them, how to convert between standard and vertex form. And then you have rational expressions and radical expressions, solving radical equations, simplifying it, things like that. And every section has a quiz. So you can always review what you've learned if you have a test the next day. So here we have complex imaginary numbers. You need to know how to simplify those exponential functions, logs. I have a lot of videos on logs. And then just, this is just functions in general, vertical line tests, horizontal line tests, how to tell if a function is even or odd. And then conic sections, graphing circles, hyperbolas, ellipses, parabolas, and things like that. There's two video quizzes because it's actually a long section. And finally, arithmetic and geometric sequences and series. So that's my algebra course if you want to take a look at it and uh, let me know what you think.